to my friends, to my family, and to the members of the Great Association, I'm happy to come before you this evening. We have a very, very spectacular program lined up. Not just a program lined up for you tonight, but a program lined up for you to get back on track in the 21st century. All right, brother. We've been waiting and watching for too long. That's right. Our ancestors been waiting and watching us for too long. It's time for us to let go of apathy, to respect each other, give love to each other, and despite our minor differences as Africans at home and abroad, to get busy, we don't got time to mess around. Now, as one who has come before you to serve you and be your humble servant, I got to get some things straight with you tonight. All around the world, Africans are getting kicked, licked, abused, and robbed. I want you to know that we could come to you and say a lot of things, but if you go with inside yourself, you will understand that we are the real problem. Oh, I said it, as the President General, Marcus Garvey said it, President Generals after him said it. Everybody likes to look outside of themselves at the problems and complain about what's going on. But the fact of the matter is, our Creator never made any mistakes. And if our Creator never made any mistakes, we should be able to tap our creative genius and find our way back on track. Is that not right? Well, in the spirit of the right, excellent, honorable Marcus Mosai Agave, I'm here to tell y'all Agave ain't dead. Agaveism teaches us that once you return to the earth, you return back from which you came in the physical. If you read Marcus Garvey, if you know about the history and the her story of the UNIACL, you know why we've been around for 98 years. Never went nowhere. I say. Mother Myers, our ancestors are waiting and watching. And we ain't got time to mess around. It's a fact that maintains itself, brothers and sisters. We like to place blame outside of ourselves. But it is very important for us to recognize that if you know who you are, nobody can stop you from rising. The God that created you, whatever you choose to call the Most High God, created us to tap our own creative genius and to address every problem that we are confronted with. This year, here in Atlanta, Georgia, we return to the very place that the right excellent honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey spent time in the so-called penitentiary. Two and a half years about right bottle killing. Yes, sir. But when he said, look for me in the whirlwind and count for me to be the real Marcus Garvey, if there is power in death, I want y'all to understand there is power in death. And as Garvey said, yes, as Garvey said, no matter how long it takes us, north, south, east, and west of the world, we will return to our traditional greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is time for you to understand that you are the knee up in the UNIA. Every one of you that came tonight, whether you realize it or not, is a charged member of this great movement. Because of our own apathy, the system of white supremacy is continuing to tear our people apart all over the planet mud. And the only way we're going to change that is not to just complain about the problem. It is to address and find the solution. And we got the power. Some of our own people have become our own worst enemy. The fact it maintains itself is times have changed in the order of the universe. 
It's time to reverse an apathetic way of thinking. And as we approach 100 years of the UNIAACL, don't just look at us, look at yourself. We got all kinds of stuff going on. We got stuff going on with our youth. We like to blame them. I like to say it's the baby boomer generation that's the problem. Not the youth that have gone straight. Because if we did what we were supposed to do, huh, Bob Achille, our youth would not be out there going straight. When God would say, up, oh, you mighty race, you can accomplish what you will. He didn't say, up, oh, you mighty race, think about it. You see, if we understand that simple slogan, up, oh, you mighty race, you can accomplish what you will. In 24 hours, if we tap the synergy of our creative genius, we can change the world. But because we don't know ourselves, we don't know our true power, we still don't even want to accept the government that God we built for you. And those of us in the government are doing everything we possibly can do to correct all the trials and the struggles and the tribulations and the shortcomings that we've gone through. Because you know what? Garvey is here tonight. When he say, look for me in the whirlwind, and you gotta let go of your physical ego, you gotta let go of all your mental masturbation, and you gotta get real with the creative genius and know, and know that the creator that created you never made no mistake. The creation that the creator created Man and woman made every mistake that there was to be made. So it's your responsibility to find a solution. We complain, complain, complain. I don't like what they do. I don't like what that's doing. Well, what are you doing? If you are the knee of, if you are the purpose, then you have to find a solution. If the brother or the sister ain't moving right, step to them and help them get on the right track. We say, up, oh, you mighty race, you can accomplish what you will. I'm taking my time tonight to let you know that while we're here in the ATL, I like to call it the ATL. Some people call it Atlanta. I say Africans together liberated. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? Even though we got a nice crowd here tonight, we ain't done nothing yet. We got all this going on here in the African Together Liberated, in the ATL, in the ATL and we ain't done nothing yet. In fact, our children are crying and dying and our ancestors are still waiting and watching because we're still too apathetic that we want to debate, compete, and, 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 and step on each other rather than, rather than agree to be disagreeable. And they gotta listen to that real carefully. Agree to be disagreeable. You can't be disagreeable and not agree, or you become the problem. We always talk about the system of white supremacy. Well, how did the system of white supremacy come to be? Long story. But guess what? On this earth, we have been in order and in control longer than we've been out of order, oppressed, and on the bottom. Tonight, we have a wonderful program. And I want to thank you all for coming out. Our brother, 